Today I'm filming the 2021 Honda Accord EXL Hybrid. But looking at the front fascia here of the Honda Accord, Honda has tweaked the Accord here. They gave this thing a blue hybrid badge to signify that you have the hybrid model. They changed the front grille here. As you guys can see, there's these horizontal chrome slats here. They even changed the Honda sensing housing there. A Tesla does have full LED headlights with an LED turn signal with an LED daytime running light. They even changed the housing for the fault lights down there. Honda used to offer a horizontal bar, but now they just have this oval uh, shape for the fault lights here. There is front parking sensors. My tester is painted in this platinum white exterior color, which is a $395 charge. But making our way to the side profile here of the Honda Accord, looking at these tires, they're wrapped in a 17 inch rim design. These are one of my favorite world choices that you can get on the Honda Accord besides the Sport. And these are wrapped in a 225. 50 tire like i mentioned this is one of my favorite rim choices here on the hybrid there is this hybrid battery on the side fender uh, honda does throw in an led side marker my tester just has a standard sunroof honda does not offer a panoramic sunroof on the 10th generation honda accord but making our way to, to the rear of the accord here looking at these tail lights they're going to be an led combination with an led brake light with an incandescent turn signal with an incandescent reverse light there's rear parking sensors here since this is the actual hybrid trim there's no visible exhaust tips here there's another blue hybrid badge there. It's your hybrid badge here to signify that you have the hybrid model. There's your Accord name, which is spelled out. Open up the cargo capacity back here. Uh, Honda says you get 16.7 cubic feet of space. And to fold down the seats here, they do a 40-60 split. Honda give you, gives you these little tabs here so you can have more cargo space. And underneath this rubber floor mat here, Honda doesn't give you a spare tire. They just give you a fix-it flat kit. So I'm sitting inside the interior of the 2021 Honda Accord EXL Hybrid. Looking at this interior, this is a really nice interior. Honda hasn't changed too much here for the 2021 model year. Shutting the door here, the door sounds nice and solid, but to set up the hybrid, just put your foot on the brake and press the power button right here. The gauges will do a nice sweep. Honda has not offered a full LCD display. You still have your speed. Uh, right there, but there's this half LCD display here. You can customize the screen to show you different things as well to show you your power and charge meter, your eco drive, power flow, range and fuel, fuel economy, speed and time, traffic sign, also driver support. So you can customize the screen to show you different things and whatnot. I like the nice leather up steering wheel here that Honda has. There's these uh, shift, these paddles here for the regenerative braking, your vine controls here, big button for home. Uh, here as well there's the as option to answer and hang up the phone voice commands there i do like the three spoke wheel design here this does have adaptive cruise control my tester is missing a uh, heads of display there's your trip computer uh, reset button there your honda sensing stability control parking sensors your hood latches down here also your trunk release button there additional storage cup holder it is one touch up one touch down for the driver and passenger your lock controls are here two person memory seats I do like this aluminum door handle. It's soft touch material here, the upper part of the door panel. There's this wood trim here on the door panel. You actually get more wood trim here on the actual dashboard here. It's dual climate control. I do like the way the climate control sounds when you're switching the temperature control here. It is going to be three level heated seats in here. Uh, Honda has made the eight inch as standard equipment. You, you can get the eight inch on the base trim. My tester does have a wireless Apple CarPlay on the sport that I showed you guys. I couldn't uh, access the wireless Apple CarPlay. I'm not sure why. But the system here is really fast, it's snappy. Uh, unlike the Camry, which has a 9-inch display, Honda is sticking with this 8-inch display, which is time for them to get a bigger screen. Most people will not like a bigger screen, but I think Honda should definitely do so. But this is a floating style uh, tablet here. The dashboard is going to be a soft-touch ejection mode of plastic. This does have the push-button uh, transmission. You pull back for reverse, as you guys can see, trajectory with distance markers, front and rear parking sensors. Honda does not offer a top-down 360 view. This is a top-down view from the rear there. This is a wide angle uh, for the backup camera as well. There's neutral, also you click D for drive. There's eco mode, sport, EV mode. There's electronic parking brake, brake hole, two cup holders here. Open up this flap here. Honda does throw in a wireless charging pad on the EXL trim here. There's two USB ports, a 12 volt there. Just in case you don't wanna use the actual wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, Honda does give you two USB ports there. The glove compartment here is damped, but it's not lined with felt. It's a pretty decent sized glove box. Putting the Accord back into park. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable, but they're not aggressively bolstered. And above my Tesla just has a standard sunroof. Honda does not offer a panoramic sunroof 
on the 10th generation but you can close this back if you like there's even a sunglass holder up here there's incandescent lighting throughout the cabin the center armrest here is slightly padded but inside there's gonna be a 12-volt and a deep amount of storage but honda they did impress with this interior uh, but it's definitely time to uh, change up the interior here. I cannot wait for the 11th generation Honda Accord to see what that looks like. I'm sitting in the back seat here of the 2021 Honda Accord EXL Hybrid. Looking back here, Honda says you get 40.4 inches of legroom. That's the most legroom in the segment here. There's going to be two mount pockets back here with rear air vents, two quick charging USB ports. The floor back here is not flat, but you can definitely have a middle passenger sit right here. And Honda does give you a nice area to rest your elbows here with two cup holders shutting the door here the door sounds nice and solid if you go for a touring grade trim honda will throw in heated back seats the standard sunroof does let some light into this cabin but overall the back seat is not a bad place to sit you get plenty of leg room so honda did package the accord just right so the hood open here for the 2021 honda accord exl hybrid let's see what powers this thing honda offers this with three different powertrains you're looking for a sportier drive honda offers this with the two liter four cylinder which is a detuned engine from the honda type r that makes 252 horsepower 273 pound feet of torque and it's paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission designed by honda but if you don't want that sporty drive honda does offer a 1.5 liter four cylinder that makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque that's paired with a cvt transmission my tester here since it's the hybrid I have the two liter four cylinder. It makes 212 horsepower, 232 pound feet of torque, and it's paired with an E CVT transmission. Fuel economy is rated at 48 in the city, 48 on the highway, and 48 combined. If you go for a 19 inch rim design, that will ding the fuel economy. So you won't get the best fuel economy if you go for the touring grade trim. Since my test is the EXL, that's why you get 48 all across the board. So starting off here in the 2021 Honda Accord EXL Hybrid, I'm just at a stop and it sounds completely quiet in here. I just let off the brake here. And this interior here is super quiet. Your kids could legit sleep on a long road trip. Um, it goes over the bumps just fine here, man. We don't have the best roads. The visibility out of the Accord here is really good. I do have Honda Sensing, which is standard equipment, which rolls in emergency braking with adaptive cruise control, uh, rear cross traffic alert, uh, blind spot monitoring. So Honda does have you uh, covered with their driver's assistance. And Honda says they tweaked it to be more responsive, but just like in the previous train accord that I tested, it was really a, a responsive driver's assistance anyway. So Honda said they tweaked it. Uh, Honda does offer this in three different powertrains. My tester here, since it's the hybrid, it has the company's two liter four cylinder. It makes 212 horsepower. It, it makes 232 pound feet of torque and it's paired with an eCVT transmission. Fuel economy here for the EXL hybrid is rated at 48 in the city, 48 on the highway and 48 combined, which is phenomenal fuel economy. And the other two powertrains are gonna be a 1.5 liter four cylinder that makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque and that's paired with a CVT transmission. If you're looking for a more sporty drive, you have to go for the 2.0, which is a de uh, detuned version of the Honda Type R engine that makes 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque and that's paired with a 10 speed uh, in-house design transmission by Honda, which honestly, I tested that 10 speed automatic transmission. It hunts through the gears just fine. It's fast, it's, it's responsive and you do really get a, a sporty drive and it's feeding that all through the front wheels. Honda does not offer an all-wheel drive Accord. Maybe for the next generation, uh, they might consider offering an all-wheel drive. With this being the hybrid here, you do have a lot of low end torque. Um, this makes 232 pound feet of it. And the ride quality here is really good. Great visibility or even uh, assisted with the Honda sensing, like I mentioned. Uh, Honda said they made the more uh, they made the drive more um, natural instead of it instead of the previous cord it still had a nice uh, ride quality great drive so I really don't feel the difference maybe I have to compare them uh, back to back but what I'm remembering is the Accord did have a nice drive and it still has a nice drive one of the best driving cars that I drove in the mid-size sedan segment of course I drove the Sonata I drove the K5 I drove the Toyota Camry but the Accord is different from the rest it has a really smooth It does have a really smooth ride quality 
And honestly, I do like the Honda Accord here. It's one of my favorite cars in the midsize uh, sedan segment here. And Honda did a really good job with the uh, exterior styling. Uh, you guys are wondering what these paddles are for. These is, this is for the regenerative braking. And honestly, with this being a hybrid, a lot of people say they cannot get the friction brakes right or the regenerative braking right. But the Accord has a really smooth braking system. It feels like a traditional car. I don't feel any weird feeling from the brakes. It brakes just fine. And the Accord here is a handsome vehicle. I do like the exterior styling and it's so smooth with the Accord, just driving this thing. It's torquey, it, it could get up to speed really quick. Great passing power on the highway. You're gonna put your family in here, you get 40.4 inches of legroom in the rear. So if you had tall kids, they could scratch out back there. Honda does throw in two cup holders. Uh, you get 16.7 cubic feet of space in the cargo area, so it has a big trunk. Compared to the other competitors, which have 15.1 or 15.7, the Accord is different from the rest. It's bigger in the leg room, it's bigger up here in the driving area, passenger area, it's big in the cargo area. And the handling is good, but if you're looking for a, a better handling version, you have to go for the 2.0. Uh, which has the 10 speed automatic you're definitely gonna get a you're definitely gonna get a sportier drive if you go for that one the seats in here they're comfortable they hold you in place i do like the way they feel but the accord is one of the best cars that i drove since i've been doing uh, my youtube videos i do like this car um, my cousin has one and he daily drives that thing every single day there's no problem there's no maintenance with it so the car is a really good a car to buy honestly but I'm put this thing into well, sport mode here like I mentioned this makes 212 horsepower 232 pound-feet of torque I'm gonna leave the traction on because it's front-wheel drive I don't want to pull out on the front tires and honestly it doesn't sound bad like you just you feel the surge of torque uh, because Honda says at zero is at zero RPM, so it's really torquey. It's a torquey, a uh, hybrid car in sport mode. Like I mentioned, they don't offer all-wheel drive. They only offer this thing in front-wheel drive. But I don't think a core with the hybrid system would need all-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive is just fine. And I do like the way this thing sounds. It sounds really. It sounds futuristic. I do like the way how it pumped into the speakers here. But the ride control is really good. Steering is playful. You can feel what the front tires are doing. But you're not going to drive this thing in sport, honestly speaking. You're going to keep this thing in eco. Take it on the highway. Rack up a bunch of highway miles and city miles. Like I mentioned, you get 48 in the city, 48 on the highway, and 48 combined. So after spending time with the 2021 Honda Accord Hybrid EXL, this vehicle gets over 40 miles to the gallon. So if you're looking to carry your family and get great fuel economy, the Honda Accord Hybrid here has your name all over. So I'm going to say Honda Accord Hybrid cause since my tester is the EXL trim, starting price my tester is at $32,690. It just has the optional paint, which is the platinum white, which is $300. And $95, including destination, which is $955. My tester here has an ass tested price at $34,040. I'd like to give a special thanks to South Motors Honda for providing me with the Honda Accord Hybrid. If you're in the market for a Honda Accord Hybrid, you can come to South Motors Honda and ask for Nelson. He'll get you into a new use or pre owned vehicle. Hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Honda Accord EXL Hybrid. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. I catch you all in the next video.